Thank you so much. Actually, a, a, a question did come up yeah. in my mind. I want to make sure I don't lose it here. I think I might have lost it, but it had to do with, uh, so coming to the screen here, right? The, the yeah. whiteboard. The, if I converted a term and I'm talking to an agent that gives me, they give me a convertible term for a million dollars and I'm paying that, say that thousand bucks, whichever the insurance company is, is the agent able to guarantee me that I'll be able to pay in a hundred grand? 10 years from now? Or is um, it just more so a matter of the split of where that hundred grand is going? That's not yeah. the guaranteed part because we don't, we can't really know that because it could change in good, a few years. Is that correct? Good, yeah, yeah. Good question. So you, you could um, set up a term policy and, and know in advance when I convert this term amount to whole life insurance, I'm going to have a MEC limit of, of 100K. So we and, can and what guarantee happens, that. For the client. Yeah. yeah, that's simple because what'll happen, like if you get a million dollar death benefit when you're 40 years old, maybe that gives you a $50,000 MEC limit. If you convert, if you get a million dollar death benefit when you're 50 years old, now all of a sudden your MEC limit is $80,000. What you'll find, maybe it won't be that high, maybe it's 70K. My point is, as you get older, the same death benefit gets you more MEC space. So if you set it up right in order to be able to com accommodate the amount of MEC space you need today, it's 100% going to be possible in the future to convert it to, to whole life with the amount of mech space you need. Got it. And what we can't guarantee as the insurance agent is what that base premium will be off that 100K. Correct. That's where you want to familiarize, yep, familiarize yourself with the limits, um, with the insurance company or companies you're working with, because that's where you'll see companies say, if you convert, convert a term policy to whole life after five years from when the term was written, that's where the whole life policy needs to be at least 50% of the total death benefit because you're going to blend that with a term rider. And that right there is what you're going to look at and say that forces my base premium higher. And I don't want to go show the client that when I showed them a low one before, because it feels like a bait and switch when you're not doing that, but it, it makes you look pretty bad there. So that's where you want to make sure you are educated on that upfront to prevent that type of situation.